Drills for a better roundhouse kick. So the roundhouse kick here is kind of like turning your leg into a baseball bat. So you're kicking across horizontally to your opponent. So roundhouse kicks traditionally are taught in four parts. You raise, you extend, you bring back, and you put it right back down. And we're gonna break all those parts down. So first of all, we're gonna get on the wall here. And all I'm gonna do is hold both hands onto the wall. And I'm gonna swing my leg like that baseball bat where it goes around. So one thing to keep in mind is my pivoting foot my heel is gonna go, kind of like point towards the direction of my kick. So my foot is actually in line with the wall here. So I'm doing this preemptively and that opens up my hip already. Now from here, my leg kind of swings from out here. It bends, it chambers, and I'm just gonna use my body to swing it across like that. Notice how when I extend my leg, my body goes down a little bit. Over time, it's gonna do that less as you get more flexible. But for now, just get, get your whole body swinging into it. I'm just lightly tapping onto the wall here. The next drill we're gonna do, we're going to raise our right leg, our back leg here, up into the air. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my leg horizontal as I pivot my foot at the same time. So I'm raising and I'm turning. And right back down, I raise up and I turn. So notice how I'm kind of turning on the ball of my foot here, not on my heel. It's kind of like if you imagine like putting on a cigarette, you're doing that, right? You're not doing this. So I'm actually flat footed here when I raise up, but now when I pivot, I'm actually raising my heel up and actually putting my, the ball of my feet into the mat and screwing that into the mat there. So again, I'm going here. So you turn this into two counts. One, two, and down. One, two, and down. Eventually you want to turn it into one count, right? So and go into that. So another thing to keep in mind for your roundhouse kicks is you want to, we call it stacking our hips. So if my hips are like this, when I throw the kick, they're not on top of each other. I want them to actually sit stacked here horizontally or vertically on top of each other like that. So that means my hip, my right hip is kind of on top of my left hip and I'm able to just throw my leg out like this. Any deviation from that, then I'm not getting a full extension of my leg and I'm not opening up my hips in, in time. Another drill to help stack your hips is putting an object or like a chair in front of your leg. And it's, notice how if I don't stack my hips, I'm gonna kick that, kick the chair when I try to throw my roundhouse kick. So I actually want to turn my leg over the top and stack over the chair there. So I'm going here. Going down. Notice how I'm kind of swinging my leg through and starting the momentum early. So my momentum swings, I'm going here, I pivot, my hip stacks, and I go right back down. I'm not even worrying about the extension of the leg at all. So I'm just going all the way through. Along with that, if you throw a roundhouse kick and you spin with it, it's going to help carry your momentum all the way through. So a lot of you'll see a lot of people they do stuff like this where I kick and I spin. And I stand right back to where I started. So I'm here, I throw my leg, and that's gonna allow me to swing all the way through. One detail on that is try to imagine kicking down. That's gonna help turn your knee down and flare your leg up. So what I mean by that is you'll see a lot of people, they kind of kick with their foot pointed upward when they, when they uh, kick through. Notice how it kind of changes the, the trajectory of my foot. If I'll do it towards the camera here, my foot's pointing upward and I try to try to spin, it's not gonna work. But as I do this and I point my foot down in this motion, it's gonna help me return right back to square one. So here, I point my foot down. So I'm here, point my foot down. That's gonna allow me to spin a lot easier. The next thing we're gonna work on is the pivoting foot, right? So you can pivot as you throw your kick with the step or pivot eventually, you wanna get to the point where you're pivoting like you're sprinting into the into the kick. So what I mean by that is, if I throw the kick here with the step, I'm stepping already into my pivot. So my legs, my hips are already opened up and I can just throw my leg from there. If I don't do that, I'm twisting into my knee and I'm locking up my whole legs here. So I step and I throw, I come back. Step, throw, and come back. Now eventually you wanna get to the point where you're just using your, the momentum of your leg to use that to pivot your foot, right? So I'm throwing and I'm, thro I'm pivoting all the way through. One thing that helps me 
I imagine like I'm sprinting. So imagine a sprinter here, sprinting like that. That amount of push for me to sprint is actually the amount of push I use to turn my heel. I am sprinting into that heel pivot. So I'm imagining doing that, but if my leg gets stuck here and I just pivot all the way through. So I'm going here, here, and back, and back. Another drill you can do to help make your kick a little more powerful is lean your leg into a bag like this. And then now you're gonna use your hip to actually push the bag over. You're not even gonna kick the bag. So I'm leaning into the bag with my leg. Now just pushing off of it like that. So notice how I have to bring my hip back and then shove my hip forward for me to make the bag move. If I just try to push from here, there's not a lot of power, but notice how I make contact, my hip goes back and it pushes out. Kind of like the whole concept of like the one inch punch, right? I make contact, hip, and back. If I do that a little more with more power, it's gonna allow me to push the bag. Now, I'm not trying to curl the bag in towards me, I'm actually trying to push the bag to the top left corner here. So if I do it like this, I'm not really doing the kick right. I want full extension so that I'm actually pushing the bag that way. Cool, so now we have all those drills down, let's try to workshop this kick. So the first one is with the step, right? I'm gonna step and imagine I'm square with the bag here. I'm gonna step to the 45 so that when I kick, I'm kicking actually to the 45 of the bag. So I'm essentially like throwing my leg into the bag itself. Let the momentum of your body go into that kick, right? Notice how I'm not doing a lot of that motion there, like trying to turn my whole body. It's kind of like just letting my body follow. It's as if I'm like running along here and my leg kind of just catches onto the bag as I'm running. So I'm running and I'm going all the way through. One more time, I'm running and I'm going all the way through. Now, if you want to stay stationary, I'm going to be, I'm going to line up my toes to the bag here. Now I'm going to kick the bag kind of directly horizontal, just like the base of that swing. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have my foot turned out. And now from here, all I'm going to do is just throw my leg kind of around the bag here and down. Again, this is a kick with my right leg. I'm keeping in the back. I'm throwing the kick here. Now if you add the pivot to that, kind of like that cigarette thing we were mentioning earlier, it's gonna allow me to turn into the bag a lot harder. And right back down. Now, I can also use my right leg and put it in the front and throw the kick from there. That's gonna minimize the momentum I can generate. And it's gonna force me to turn my leg more into a whip so that it's kind of like the end of the kick is gonna to develop to be a lot faster. So right now you imagine the legs in the back. So it's a long wide swing and it lands into the bag. A lot of people, they have a very strong first three quarter of their kick and it weakens as it gets to here. So I'll try to simulate that. A strong and a weak end. So a strong and a weak end. So to fix your weaker end, put this leg in the front and just work on whipping that, whipping that leg forward. One more. This is kind of like level two of that pushing drill that we just did. Now we add them all together, a strong beginning, a strong end. It should make a lot faster kick. Now, whatever, whatever I'm kicking, I'm trying to turn my head to kind of start the momentum of the generation as well. So that's gonna help me kind of align my spine and twist the spine up this way to start throwing the kick. So I'm actually, whipping my head this way, just for a split second, and that causes me to turn my hip, and that allows me to turn my, turn my kick. So an easier way to just drill this, literally facing the bag, look away from the bag, and that, notice how that kind of carries my foot up a little higher. So I just turn my foot up as I do that. So now if you add that all together, it should be a pretty powerful kick. If I look away, and look right at the bag. Again, this is more of a drill, right? You can't apply it that way. Just try not to uh, keep your eye, try not to take your, way, your eyes away from your opponent. So, from there, 
I can do all those things and combine them all. I can use my hands as a way to, to generate force as well. So my hands and my, my look, my head is turning my upper body. My leg just goes up with all that power as well. So here, one, two, three. 